Hey, I had a really weird thing happen today. Um, when I was uh, uploading part four of the um, Haunt Insider, um, I was, you know, cruising the internet, checking out some stuff. Um, if you haven't watched part four yet, go watch it. Um, at the very end, I talk about uh, Season of Shadows, um, which is run by a guy named John Wolf. And I recorded that video on the 24th, um, earlier in the day, and later that day he posted a blog um, on his website, um, which was his final blog post stating his health condition and where what he plans to do with, with the rest of the time he has. And um, So like I said, if you haven't watched it, you're probably a little confused what I'm talking about right now. Um, watch part four. Um, He's very ill, um, and you know it's it's a very sad sad story. Um, while I was uploading the vlog today on the 26th, I was checking out Pumpkin Rot's site, and his first um, the newest uh, blog post on his site is about Season of Shadows and the video or in the blog that he um, you know posted, sent basically saying you know goodbye to everybody. Um, so. Both, both circumstances were just really weird. The fact that I was, I decided to record that video about him on the same day when he posts his last blog post, and then while it's uploading, brought, you know, he posted that, and I go check that out and, and see, you know, and find out about the final post. So, really weird. I mean, super sad. Um, and, you know, I, I really hope, I, this is 100%, you know, from the heart, I really hope, uh, John, that you, you know, you uh, have uh, not too much suffering left, and it and it, it just goes easy for you, man. Um, I'm really sorry to hear you know, about your condition. So we just got back from going out with some friends. Um, if you'd watched not yesterday, but the day before vlog, I was talking about going to meet up with uh, a friend, and he knew this guy who owns a um, special effects makeup and prop building company and uh, he wanted to do a convention in Orlando. Well we went out to, he owns a, a little uh, bar and grill and we went out there and fortunately he was, he couldn't make it out tonight so it ended up being just me, Katie, and my friend and his girlfriend um, hanging out at the bar uh, with, it was karaoke night so You'll see some right after this, some clips of my friend and Marcus and uh, his girlfriend and Katie all singing karaoke. So um, it's pretty funny. But yeah, sort of bummed that we didn't get to talk any Halloween or anything like that. I did get the um, some of his information, though. His wife uh, also runs the bar with him. So she was there and she gave me... Um, you know, like contact info, and at least I know what the company is now, and it's more about, they seem a lot more makeup and, like, um, application cosmetic uh, oriented, and um, they want to have uh, uh, Marcus's girlfriend as, like, the, sort of the guinea pig at the booth, and, you know, to do different things on, to show, uh, you know, their makeup and applications to people. Um, but they were like, he, he said you know, he would want to talk to me too, just because I've been in that biz. Um, not the makeup aspect, um, obviously, but in the running a Halloween-related company and doing props and stuff like that. So um, it is Evil Fire Lizard is the name of the company. They have a website. I was trying to check it out on my iPod at the, at the bar. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of product up um, on there. His wife said that they're sort of slacking right now on doing that, but, um, anyway, check them out if you want. Hopefully, I'll have, uh, you know, I'll send them an email just telling them about me and what I do or what I've done, and, you know, see where it goes. It, if anything, it's just a, someone, some new contact in, in the Halloween-ish world, but, uh, so, yeah. So, enjoy the, um, the fantastically horrible singing styles of, of Katie. Yeah, and um, they sing. What did they say? Yeah, they sing "Tenacious D." Tribute. Tribute, and uh, I think you'll see a little <laughs> clip of my friend singing "Deo" and something else. Anyways, um, yeah. 
Enjoy. King sounds like a dude. That's our friend Candy. <laughs> Marcus, friend Marcus is over there. I'll tell you why we're here later. When you say goodbye, yes, that will be the day. When you make me cry, you say you're gonna leave me. You know it's a lot of sad people. When I die, I'm gonna. I got her today. Needless to say, the beast was stunned. He went crack with his own tail. And the beast was done. He asked us.